Hey guys, today on The Bleeding Edge, we're going to be giving you a first look at the new Xbox Experience dashboard. Stay tuned. Welcome to today's Bleeding Edge. I'm Andrew Webbers, and like I said, today we're going to be giving you a look at the new Xbox Experience, the new dashboard update that will be available on November 19th to all users of the Microsoft Xbox. So as you can see here, we're in the new interface and we're just gonna give you a complete walkthrough, a, a definitive look, if you will, at the NXE. What you've just seen is the intro video that you experience when you uh, install the new Xbox experience, and that's what we're looking at here. Um, so we're just gonna take you through um, the entire interface of the uh, dashboard here, and let's start with the spotlight. So here in the spotlight, they're basically aggregating um, what they believe are the most important uh, features or updates or or things they just want you to pay attention to from all the other uh, areas in the dashboard so here you see fallout 3 is now available in stores and if i choose that i can actually start playing fallout 3 right now because that just happens to be the disc that's in the drive um, you can see all downloads that are related to fallout 3 if you want to get trailers or downloadable content or themes or anything like that all from that same area if you move down, you see the feature downloads. You can grab images of the game to take a look at how it looks. Details like how many players, the resolution, the sound, and any other uh, pertinent details to that title. And then a description of the game. So you get all of that right here in the dashboard now. And also, as you see, the background has changed and is actually a Fallout 3 background when you go into uh, this specific title. Moving back out, you see there's uh, another uh, I don't even know what they're calling these. I'm just going to call them tiles. A tile for Portal, which is now on Xbox Live Arcade. Again, if you go into that, the background changes uh, to a Portal background. And the same thing, you get your feature downloads, images, details about the game, and a description. Skinned Alive is... Uh, guessing that's some sort of movie. Yeah, so you can rent that right from here or watch a preview. And again... They were very good about giving you details about the content, and here you see credits, who stars in that particular movie. Interviews, community play dates, and photo party. And photo party is actually something new, where if you get a party of people together, uh, which you can do here in the new Xbox experience as a new feature, um, you can share photos with up to eight other people, or seven other people, you'll be the eighth. So that's Spotlight. Let's go over to my Xbox. Again, uh, the first tile here just shows us what's in the, the disk drive, which is Fallout 3 for me. So I can hit that if I want to start playing it. Here, you see your avatar, uh, your gamer score, the latest game you've played, and uh, your Xbox Live status. Um, and if we go into that, uh, you see that they kind of changed how you view um, your achievements. So on the first tile here, you can see your messages, edit your profile, customize your avatar, change the theme, manage your account, or sign in as someone else. But then each game has its own tile. Every game you've played has one, and it just aggregates them all here in this section. Um, and you can see what achievements you've earned, the dates you've earned them. And at the top, it'll show you a little bar, bar graph basically telling you how far along you are in achieving um, all the achievements as well as the maximum gamer score for that title and what percentage you are at achieving the whole thing. 
And if you play a lot of games, this can get fairly long, as you can see here. And actually, we'll go into uh, avatar creation or editing, I guess, right now. So if we go into edit, customize avatar, there it is. So you can go in and you can basically change, you know, a bunch of features, hairstyles, eyes, eyebrows, face, nose, ear, chin, mouth, and then uh, skin color, body type, height, etc. And once you once you have that done and established. You can come in, come into this area and start changing your clothes. So you can kind of get a preview of some of the outfits they have available. If you want to be outlandish, you can start, you know, wearing things like this. Jackets. The rockabilly top. That's hot. Look at that. And then you have a mirror behind you so you can see what everything looks like from the back. And there's not too much uh, in there right now for all these, look at this, punk pants. It's just insane. Skinny jeans. So there it is. And then you can actually uh, save all your different outfits. So. Um, you can have specific outfits that you like and, or want to wear or want to feature, so I can go back and just put that right back on. Gamer picture. You can actually take a picture now and use your avatar as your gamer picture if you'd like. You just position him correctly. You can tilt him a bit if you want. Pan around. And then just hit A when you're ready. And you see on the bottom right, you get your preview. You can choose some sort of different background color if you want. We'll go with that. And there it is. If you hit B to exit, and you can save that. If you want to start over, you can go here. And you can just start selecting from brand new avatars, um, editing those. And when you're done, you just save and exit. Okay, back in the dashboard. The other things you can do in my Xbox are you can change your theme. So the new Xbox experience uh, actually is able to use the older themes um, from the original dashboard. And you just go into here and choose, you know, whatever theme it is you want. Um, the difference here is that you're not going to see as much of the theme as you would have before where you had four different images as you switch through the blades. Now you pretty much get the one image um, in the background and as you go into other areas of the of the new dashboard you'll see some of those other pages but um, those are really few and far between. So these are more like just accents now than they are actual uh, you know themes for all different pages. So we'll go back out and switch over to the game library. Here you'll be able to see your games, recent games you've played will be in the first one. And then your collections. So if you want to uh, drill into, say, arcade games to start one of those. Or any other game, full games, game demos, etc., or videos. and then some of the top downloads that are on Marketplace. The video library, again, these are, uh, you can go into the downloaded videos that you have on your Xbox 360, or you can connect to one of the computers on your network and watch videos from one of those. Music library is the same thing. You can listen to any music on your Xbox 360 or music from any of the uh, computers on your network. So if I were to connect to here, I'd be able to see the songs that I have on that computer and listen to any of those streamed over the network.
picture library is the same thing as music. You can look at pictures on your uh, device, on your Xbox 360. You can connect a digital camera to your Xbox 360 or check out videos from your computer. Windows Media Center works exactly the same way as it did originally. You just connect to a computer and you get the uh, Media Center interface. And then System Settings, this is where you manage your console settings. Same as last time, no differences here. Other than, if you go into Display, in HDTV Settings, you'll see you can, it can do Optimal Resolution now, which wasn't a feature before. And then you also have HDMI Color Space, which you can you know, change depending on what uh, you plan on using the Xbox 360 on, what type of TV. You have reference levels, so they've given you a little bit more power um, in the output of video. Next we'll go to the game marketplace. Here's where you'll purchase games. Um, the first one just lets you search for add-ons, downloadable games. You can browse and actually search, search for a game. Um, basically, you just put in the first letter of the game and it'll give you those games. Which is a, This makes things a little bit easier to sort through. You can sort through genre or collections again, what type of game it is. Um, so they've made browsing for games a little easier. You can look at today's most popular downloads and it lays them out nicely. Some of these have just generic uh, box art and those will all be filled in when the, the new Xbox experience launches. By that time, these will all have art. But there you can see it's, a, it's really nice and slick, especially these arcade games which don't really have uh, boxes. Um, they've actually just constructed them for them to look, to look good. If we go up to the video marketplace, um, here's where we find a, a lot of changes. Same thing as with the game marketplace, they've made it easier to search for content, look for new arrivals. Those are right up front. And I'm assuming that's where most people want to go, to, just to check out what's new. Um, but the other new thing that they've added is Netflix. So if we go over one, if I jump into here, you can see that Netflix actually launches as part of Xbox, almost like a separate application. Um, and here you can just see my Netflix Instant Queue. So there are movies that I have in my Instant Queue. And what I'll do is try to add a new one so you can see how quickly um, these movies appear on your Xbox 360 once they're added. So I'm just going to, there's actually an iPhone app that I'm using to add something here. So I'm just going to choose Hero Season 3 and I'm going to add that to the queue. And it should pull up within a matter of seconds, I would hope. And there it is. So as quick as that, if you have you know, a mobile device, like an iPhone on you, um, and you're sitting on your couch, just pull that out, add something, and you can pull it right up and start watching. Netflix will determine your video quality based on your broadband speed. And then once it figures that out, it'll start playing the video at the appropriate quality. So there that is. So if I back out of that, you'll see that you can resume from where you started watching. It'll tell you what percentage of the video you've watched. You can restart it, you can rate it, or you can remove it from your instant queue right from the 360. And again, they give you a lot of details about the content before you watch them if, you, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, now the one thing that's not live here yet is high definition. Um, but Netflix is actually launching high definition streaming video on the new Xbox experience. So you can't stream high definition video in your browser or on the Rock U Netflix player or any of the other Netflix enabled devices. Um, so the high definition streaming will be first for the Xbox 360 and we don't really even have dates for any other device. So as you can see, Microsoft's really trying to push this as a, an entertainment platform for the living room, um, making it much more than just a game platform um, is their goal. 
continuing down the video marketplace, again, they just highlight different pieces of content. Right now, we're very close to uh, Halloween, so you're seeing a lot of Halloween-themed things here. Um, then you have the video library, which is everything that you've downloaded to your Xbox. If we go into Friends, you see that they basically give each, each person on your Friends list a little uh, small environment to stand in. And right now, a lot of these people are just shadows because this basically means they haven't installed the Xbox, uh, new Xbox experience and haven't created an avatar. But you'll see in front of them, it'll show a, a game cover, and that's the game that these people are playing right now. And if I go down the line and find someone, so here's someone, uh, Bastelion. He's sleeping. That means he's not online right now, but he does have an avatar. Who's this? Brandon Live, another guy on my friends list who does have the new Xbox experience, but has not, um, he's just not online right now. Now, if the other thing about those environments is if I go into my Xbox and change my theme, I'm going to choose uh, Night, which I believe is up here near the top. So if I go back to my friends list, you'll see that the environment that they are standing in has changed. Now you see a skate park, some sort of ghetto-esque dark lit area. What is that? More skate park, a subway car, a, a police car by a fire hydrant, a jazz club, bas basketball court. Uh, so there's this area will actually change depending on what theme you choose, which I think is actually fairly cool. So if you go into a friend, again, you can compare your games with them, private chat, video chat, send messages, same as you could do uh, before. Inside Xbox, they've uh, really cleaned this up. So if you choose Inside Xbox, you can actually go into any of the different uh, shows that they have for the Xbox 360. So if I go into Insider Moves, for example, it'll start playing the latest uh, edition of Insider Moves. So there you see that. And I'm Ryan, Games Writer. You have Majors Minute, the IGN Strategize series, Rock the, Rock the Vote, and more free videos here. And here you can actually go back in time if you want to look at some older Insider Moves videos or older Majors Minute videos, OXM Report, Pick Up and Play, etc. So again, these are all nicely laid out, um, much better much easier to find what you're looking for than it was before. Events is a new area as well. Um, Xbox has had ev uh, events for a while, but it's always been hard to figure out when they were, unless you were really paying close attention. Now it's right here in your dashboard. So as you can see on Thursday, October 30th, you have the Gears of War um, community play date with Unscripted 360. And if you go into that, it tells you how to jump into that and play um, against the people from Unscripted 360. They have a, an Xbox All Nighter on Halloween with Condemned 2 Bloodshot. Again, you just jump into that and it tells you how to be a part of the All Nighter right from your home. Gamer Chicks, which is uh, Trixie's gr gaming group for women. They're playing a scene at Box Office Smash on November 3rd. And uh, same as the others, you can go in, get information on the game, how to participate and their manifesto. So this will always update with the latest events uh, that are coming for Xbox 360. And lastly, you have the welcome screen, which you can actually get rid of by hitting this right here. Basically, this just gives people who are new to Xbox 360 or new to the new Xbox experience um, some tips on the different areas, avatars, parties, Netflix, community games, etc. Um, and actually, a couple of these we should also mention. The community games are games made by uh, people who aren't professional developers. So people who've downloaded the XNA uh, game creator and just wrote some games. They are able to get their games on Xbox 360 now. And you can download them. Play from the hard drive is really great. If you have ga a game that you'd like to play a lot, you can actually install it to your hard drive as opposed to um, having it play off the disc so you don't get that hard drive spin up noise the fan noise that's all gone and instead it just plays everything from the disc you still have to have the disc 
or rather from the hard drive. You still have to have the physical disk in the drive to pre prevent piracy, but it just won't spin. And lastly, Marketplace on the web. Um, you can now actually purchase Xbox Live content, games, themes, pictures on the web, and then have them ready for download when you next sign into the Xbox. And there it is. We're back at Spotlight, so that's your uh, comprehensive look at the new Xbox experience. Once again, this comes to you November 19th. It'll be a free download um, available to all internet-connected Xbox Live members. Until next time, I'm Andrew Edwards. Stay tuned for more tech news through the eyes of GearLive.com.